So a judge has ordered Kevin Spacey to pay nearly $31 million to House of Cards production company. Actor Kevin Spacey will have to pay the company behind House of Cards the $31 million after a judge this week confirmed an award that was made by an arbitrator last year. Okay, mm. so um, the actor, of course, he starred in the Netflix series for five seasons before he was fired in 2017. And this was a Los Angeles Superior Court judge. So made the rule, the ruling confirming the arbitration ruling. And uh, yeah, that was last year, but this is what happens, guys. You have an arbitration ruling and then we have to go and get it confirmed in a court of law or sometimes it's appealed. So there was a ruling already, but now it has been confirmed. So Spacey and MRC have been battling this year since the actor was dismissed from the production over allegations of misconduct on and off the set. Now, I was watching the show. I was watching the show for a while. You were. And it's it's tough. It's tough. And I'll tell you, you know, as you're going to get into this, that's the quick comment that that I'll have is, you know, I think of this is a setting precedent for like Jussie Smollett. And stuff because i mean he, he ruined that empire show that thing was trucking Very right along point. and just like you know kind of everybody else, i was watching the show and i kind of lost interest as well um and so it like it, it kills it kills the legacy of a show and you know where does that money go is it going to go to some of the actors whose careers are also hurt because they didn't get to finish out their show they put in all that time and now they can't have their legacy without a little asterisk by it so yeah, I mean, it's a good point because, guys, in a lot of the contracts that we sign with major production companies like Netflix is that they have the ability to terminate at any point to fire us. And there's, um, you know, moral clauses just to say that if we now come under moral retribution from the general public because we are doing things, we are committing crimes, whatever, that they can terminate contracts and be done. But this is taking now a step further. And you're right. I think it's setting some case precedent potentially because this was an arbitration ruling, right? So it could be more just, you know, uh, persuasive. But in any case, just to say that if you do something that gets you fired from a show, but it results in the termination of the show and massive lost profits, let's say in the realm of $31 million, that they're going to come after you for that payment and win. That's scary. I mean, that, I mean, not. I mean, it's scary. Like, and it just, it's just, an, it's just another lesson. Like, just do what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And you like, you literally everything that you work for can just, just go away. And now apparently you can be on the hook for all the damage that can take place. And you know, you just think of these shows, like these legacy shows, like the Cosby Show, which was one of my favorite shows of all time. And just like the legacy of the Cosby Show is ruined. Like it, it, it's, it's very, it's very tough. Be careful who your heroes are. 